Fieldhouse Ford has made the pit stop, so Darrell Walker is the only car that has not been in the pits. Well, that's going a long way. I think he pitted on like lap 250, so that's 78 laps. That is a, a long way. Without a restrictor plate from the restrictor plate track, of course, they get that Meanwhile, there he is, seven laps to go, and Rusty is closing, closing. Now within just a few car lengths of Darrell Walker. Darrell trying to salvage a win out of this season to keep his string going. now is approaching rapidly as 322 laps have been completed. We've got six to go. Darrell looks up in that rear view mirror and sees Rusty coming. He knows that he's not going to win this race. I think he pressed the accelerator just a little bit harder when he saw Rusty Wall. Trying to draft on Kyle Petty there now and get as much advantage as he can. Not gonna help it out. Here goes Rusty now to the outside of Darrell Walker, which will also have to be the outside of Wood. Rusty! Wow. Got that car out of shape on the outside up there. Wow. That's about a farm there. Throw this whole race away right there. Well, he clears Kyle Petty, and now we'll have another shot at Darrell Walker for the win. Four laps to go. Still got a pass, Darrell. If Darrell should go on finish. There's the completion of lap 324. Four to go. Rusty's going to try, or at least he's looking toward the inside this time instead of the outside. And Darrell, he just, oh, and he gets down to the pool. And Walter almost crashes. But Rusty Wallace does take the lead and now is up front once again. Now can Darrell hang on to second? Can he stay out there? I think he can do that. He's okay. Ricky Rudd is running in third place. But if he doesn't run out of fuel, he should be able to hang on to second. There's three laps to go, and I tell you what, <laughs> Ricky Rudd is gaining dramatically on Rudd. He's going to run out of time. He's not going to have time to catch him, but Rudd is flying. It's so, yes, it would appear as if the Manufacturers Championship is going to go to Chevy, because even if Walter runs out of fuel, Rudd is the uh, key player here. Two to go. Two laps. Rusty Wallace came into this race his 300th NASCAR Winston Cup career start. If Walter can hang on, this will be his best finish in 1993. And he has some momentum going into the 94 season. Wallace now in turn number four, coming off looking for the white flag. Here it is, one lap to go for Rusty Wallace, and he'll win the Hooters 500. And do what he had to do, and that is win the race, lead the most laps, collect all the points possible. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, though, for Rusty in terms of the championship, because Dale Earnhardt is going to win that. And Darrell Walker is out of yeah, gas. He's out of gas now. He's yeah. out of fuel. Can't risk your ride to pass him before he gets back. He came within a half lap of finishing the race. Darrell Waltrip, Ricky Rudd goes by him. He takes second position. Rusty Wallace comes off the corner, takes the checkered flag, and wins the Hooters 500. And the celebration in the Miller Genuine Draft Pick. Rusty Wallace wins his 10th Winston Cup event of 1993 and the 31st of his career, but there is also celebration in the GM Goodrich, Richard Childress, Dale Earnhardt pit as Earnhardt has won the 1993 NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. He wins it at 42 years of age. Richard Petty continued to compete for 17 years after winning his sixth title. Imagine how many championships Dale could achieve if he continues to race until the year 2010, which is 17 years from now. Now, are both these guys going to do victory laps? 
Here comes Billy Wilburn with a flag for Rusty. 28 flags. It carries the 28. And look here. Counts. And look, Earnhardt has a seventh flag. All right, that's me. A fitting tribute to the two tremendous race drivers that we lost this year, Alan Kowicki and Davey Allison. being carried by the winner of the race, Rusty Wallace. The crowd is cheering and waving in happiness, but you know that in many eyes, there are tears. Wallace will be turning left into victory lane. Dale Earnhardt will stop here on the starting line to receive the congratulations on winning the NASCAR Winston Cup for 1993. Wait. Dr. Jerry Punch is with the champion. And they are here to congratulate Dale Earnhardt. It's an emotional time around the car. Jim Schreyer here, the executive vice president of RJ Reynolds, is, was the first one in the car as Dale tries to get unhooked. And they will hand him a hat that says 1993 Winston Cup national champion. For the sixth time, Dale Earnhardt is trying to get unhooked here so he can talk to us. He's reaching around trying to get some of the switches unhooked and get a nice uh, cold drink. A big smile from the six-time national champion. Grabs the sunglasses, grabs the hat, tries to get a deep breath. Dale, congratulations on an outstanding effort. You're the champion for the sixth time. Unbelievable. You know, got to thank this crew. The good Lord looked after us all year, and uh, the crew did a great job. I, I just can't say enough about them. We had... Uh, we got to going for it after we had it locked up, and I got in trouble and got loose and got in the sack and knocked the side of the car. It really hurt the aerodynamics, but, uh, you know, we had a shot, I think, at running with them, you know, being, the, being uh, one of the contenders. But uh, that's racing, and we'll take that championship. Dale, has to be especially rewarding in an emotional championship given the loss of uh, two colleagues this year. What a tribute for Alan Kowicki and Davey Allison. Well, that's true. It uh, brings cold chills up when we think about them. And, uh, Alan was a great champion, and we honor him and honor him well. Uh, hate, I hate what happened, and I uh, wish we had him here, but, you know, we'll honor him and have good thoughts of him. Moisture coming from the eye of a champion, thinking about his departed friends, Kowicki and Davey Allison. Let's go to victory lane with John Kernan. Well, Rusty Wallace is uh, just finishing up his radio right interview, and, Rusty, it cannot be said that you did not try and do everything you could possibly do today. Well, I told everybody when I came in here, I'm just going to have to throw everything at him that I can. And I did, but I'll tell you what, I'm just so proud of all these guys. Ten wins, boy, we're really happy. I'd like to congratulate Dale Earnhardt for a fine victory. He did a really great job. And uh, it's just a wonderful year for us. And uh, we're remembering Davey Allison and Alan Quickie today still. But uh, just like to thank you, thank to Miller Janial Draft, Mobile, AC, Pontiac, everybody. It's been a great victory, and I'm really happy to get the year over with now. Well, Rusty Wallace, good victory lane, Bob. And they will be a team to be reckoned with, of course, next year as uh, have to have been 10 this season. Don Miller moves in with Rusty Wallace and offers his congratulations.